just my lighting. Pretty good. Let me take a sip of pomegranate juice. I really hope that doesn't stain my lips. If you are new to my channel, my name is Victoria and I am a complete mess. I wanted to do a life update today. It is definitely something that is in order. I have really been MIA from like the social media scene, not just YouTube. I've been really low key on like my other social medias as well, just because a lot has been going on and I needed time to just get like my life together because it was kind of spiraling out of control. I'll start off with the most important thing, I guess, and the most exciting. I moved into my new apartment with my boyfriend. It's my first time actually having my own place and it definitely is an adjustment for sure. Um, like I said, I've just been kind of taking time to enjoy all of the aspects of that, like getting to be around my boyfriend all the time, which I love and he's amazing and I love living with him and sharing the space together. Also just being more adulty and like cooking and cleaning and getting settled and like paying bills and being like a fucking badass bitch. So I'm definitely excited about that. We got a two bedroom, two bath. The room that I'm currently in and the room that I'll be filming in where you guys will see me is the second bedroom which we turn into an office. So over here I have my desk um, and then back here is where Layton's desk is gonna be and he's also gonna have all of his studio equipment set up. So it's gonna be really cool. This room is gonna be awesome. But yeah, so far so good. I love living in my own place. It's really nice to just be able to come home and relax in your own environment that you've set up where you're comfortable in and it feels really safe and I'm really happy and I can't wait to show you guys more of it in the future. I've got an awesome setup. I have this huge ring light around me. I feel like it's really changing my life and my YouTube career and my social blade is about to like be insane but I'm really happy about it. Second thing I want to touch on, I have been working on getting my name changed for the past three months. I know it's different for everyone. Some people have really quick experiences. Some people have to fight and fight and fight. And mine has just kind of been in the middle. I filed for a name change and I want to say January-ish and it got denied. I ended up not filling it out correctly. A lot of people use a lawyer to represent them. I represented myself because, I mean, I'm practically MINSA certified, so I'm pretty sure I can do it. And it's honestly been really hard. It's like daunting and like I hate going to the courthouse. The people aren't the nicest. And I feel like this process could be a lot easier if they would cooperate with me. But I actually went to the courthouse today to drop off my second set of paperwork. I'm redoing everything. I luckily didn't have to pay the $275 fee again, which is how much you have to pay to get your name changed where I live. Um, so I'm glad I didn't have to do that. But fingers crossed, I should have an answer in about a week on whether it's confirmed or denied or whatever. Um, I'm assuming this time I did everything right to the T and it's gonna get approved. When it does, I will definitely walk you guys with me through the process of changing my license, changing my birth certificate, changing all that kind of stuff and how that works, whether it's easy, whether it's hard. Um, I think it's gonna be a piece of cake. I'm just ready to get my fucking name changed. Honestly, when you think about it, like not having your preferred name on your license can actually out you like all the fucking time. I mean, not to mention the fact that I have an M under the sex label on my license, but when you see the name Daniel, someone at the gas station or like at the club could just read that and be like, oh, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm a tranny. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, I have been playing a lot of computer games lately and my boyfriend always makes fun of me saying that I'm playing wizards on the computer and all I do is cast spells all night. But you know what? I'm pretty fucking good at League of Legends, okay? So I've been thinking I kind of want to start streaming on Twitch as well, which is like a gaming streaming platform. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in that. I think it would be really fun and it's just like another way for me to branch out um, to a different social media that I've never done before but I've always been interested in. So definitely let me know if you guys want to see more of that. I guess as far as like appearance stuff goes, I've definitely been stepping up the makeup game. I wear makeup a lot less now that I've been on hormones for like over three years. 
in the beginning, I definitely felt a lot of pressure to like always have my face caked like a fucking oven, but lately I've been wearing it less, I've been letting my skin breathe, and then now when I put makeup on, it's like a huge fucking event, and I'm like in the mirror for an hour and a half like banging Kevin Gates in the background and just like blending my fucking eyeshadow, but it's definitely gonna take a break, let your skin breathe, and then come back to it, and bam, you're like 10 times better than you were before. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my hair has gotten a lot longer. This is my natural hair too, which if you can't tell, it's pretty soft, but it's just really wavy, um, a little bit curly towards the ends, um, but it definitely has gotten a lot longer. When I straighten my hair, it's like literally down to like below my boobs now, which is really hot and I like it. Definitely be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. Um, I'm all settled, I've got all my shit together, and I'm ready to fucking kill it. 100K by summer, 2K17. I am also reviving all of my social media once again. I'm so happy to be back. So my Twitter, Instagram, and my Snapchat, those will be down in the description below. So follow me on there. We can be friends. And after this video goes up, if you spam my social media, I'll spam yours back. So it's like a fucking party. 2017 is gonna be fucking dope. This has been one of the best years of my life, if not the best year, besides 1996, which was when I was born. The world was graced yet again with pure beauty. I cannot wait to talk to you guys in the comments and on everything else. I love you guys so, so, so much. <laughs> You've honestly kept me alive. I wouldn't be where I am. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> this is just so weird.